studying and meditation this morning. And I just wanted to show you this Monstera. I sit under it and sleep under it. And I've told you it drips on me. I just watered it last night and the, the water comes up and drips out the bottom of the leaves. Update on the area by the fish pond. Everything seems to be doing good. Look how much this has grown and it's like starting to cling to the rocks. I love it. It's so good. That's the Exotica, Syndapsis Exotica. And then um, this is the, oh, they're dirty. The uh, Lickety Split Philodendron. I cut a bunch of leaves off of that one. Got a new one coming up. This uh, looking glass begonia. I love it. So pretty. It's kind of slowed down. But those are some big leaves because this was just a little fart when I got it. Still little, but the leaves are huge. And the peperomia are all looking really good. Um, someone asked me what kind of peperomia this is and it's a pixie lime. It's really pretty. And um, the undersides of the leaves are super fuzzy and soft. I when I just touched the leaf, I never noticed that before. That's why I'm telling you. I'm like, wow, that's really fuzzy, but I didn't know for sure if it was because of all the dog hair, <laughs> but it's not. They're fuzzy little buggers. And they're twice as fuzzy because they do also have the dog hair on them. <clears throat> this is my uh, Lucerne begonia. Love the polka dotted begonias. The, this is a type of, it's not growing very fast. Um, this is a type of anthurium, it gets huge. Um, this here is my subhistatum. That one's not looking too hot, but it is growing a lot. You can see the leaf there. It's all tangling throughout there, just like a jungle. I noticed that my cardboard palm was getting some new leaves all over it. I think it would like a bit more sun, so they're kind of dinky, but maybe they'll get bigger. I don't know. I need to do some maintenance out here on my plants and on the actual room. But I told you last week I had to cut down a bunch of these, uh, the philodendron or the pothos that I had all around because it was looking shabby. But this part's looking real good. And I might, maybe I'll, um, Rather than having that one trail down because it's getting kind of congested over here, maybe I'll put it up over here. I don't know. We'll see. And will you take the gander at that fern? Good heavens. She just gets more and more amazing all the time. <laughs> That's big, huh? So big. I'm going to stand by it so you can, you know, compare. Moose. So you just got a moose. I did? Oh, you were going the wrong way. Oh. If you were going out the window, you would have caught a moose. Okay. I just missed the moose. I could have showed you a moose, but sorry, I missed it. But anyway, I was saying we're going on a family vacation. Or, I don't know. Yeah, hopefully it's a vacation. <laughs> family <laughs> right? reunion. Yeah, a family reunion with Rich's family. And they're my family too but uh anyway so we're going to Bear Lake and it doesn't look like the weather's gonna be too spiffy but that's okay look how pretty it is <laughs>
by the water. So I've been addicted to something. My daughter brought one of these over for me and I have been drinking them a ton. They're actually good for me. So that's a first that I'm addicted to something good for me. Um, it's called kombucha and it's the ginger egg kind and I especially love this um, brand so far. But they're like $5 a thing which adds up to a lot. I mean, that could potentially be $10 a day. <laughs> and I don't know, I can't really afford that. So I'm learning to make it myself and I wanted to show you guys how to do it. Or I don't know if I know how to do it, um, but I'm doing it and um, I thought we could do it together. And have you guys ever had kombucha? If you have, what's your favorite kind? I'm excited to try. Well, I hope it works. Let me show you what I've got here. This is the tea that I brewed last night. It's uh, 14 cups of boiling water, eight tea bags, and I did four um, green tea. Let me show you, I'll go grab the kind I did and four black tea, okay? And I'll go grab those in a second. And then two cups of pure cane sugar. And then I let it sit overnight so it could cool off to room temperature. Um, I went, I looked on Facebook Marketplace and I found these, uh, someone was selling the SCOBIES, which I can't remember what it's an acronym for. Sin I'll just insert it here for you in case you care. Kind of a weird and gross looking thing. I'm going to pull these out with my fingers and put, I think I'm going to put two of them in here because they look kind of small but I don't know what they're supposed to look like. The ones that I watched on YouTube, they looked like they were like this thick and these ones look to be a little bit thinner. Um, so my, my hands need to be really clean to touch these. So I'm gonna scrub them like a doctor would and then we'll throw them in here. Here's my hand right next to it. It's huge. big <laughs> so pretty and then um, I recently moved that gosh Abavada there we go I thought I was gonna forget the name again have you guys noticed that I do that <laughs> for everything I think I need some um, st. John's wort or something Yeah, but uh, this is really liking it. It was really crowded in its pot that it was in, and um, this gave it a lot more space, and I think it really is liking it. Looks much happier to me. So that's the place we're staying in. And then we're right out here on the water. Stay out here. There's Kai Kai. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> look, right over there. Yeah, right here. look at the clouds. Can you see where it's raining? You don't, you don't have to walk through that. It's really wet. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Why are you sorry? That's on the airplane. What? Okay, so here's the tea. It's Twinings, because I read that was a pretty good brand, um, a high quality tea without getting crazy about it. So this is a, a variety pack that has four different flavors in it. And the one that I did was, oh, I guess I did Lady Grey Black Tea. Lady Grey. Okay, it's also got Irish breakfast, English breakfast, and Earl Grey in there. So, and then I did um, green tea with jasmine. I went to the store yesterday and bought this. 
big jar. Um, this is a two gallon jar and the recipe I have, have it says a one gallon jar. But I wondered, can you make this in bigger batches? Let me know if you've made it before, like what your experience with that is. Okay, here's the little um, guys, the little scobies. I covered it with paper towel and rubber band and the girl who made this made hers with um, green tea, green tea and hibiscus tea I believe. So okay, what a weird little thing. <laughs> kind of gross, kind of gross to be honest. Do you see that? I don't know what I, it's kind of like the... I don't know, it reminds me of a placenta. <laughs> Weird. The thing a placenta cord is made out of, or um, umbilical cord. Okay. So I am just gonna, okay, these actually do look pretty thick. I think I'm gonna put, huh, maybe I should put three in there, I'm not sure. This one's really thick here. I'm not sure, let's see, so weird, really it looks like an umbilical cord, okay, S sorry, look at this one, weird, what a weird thing, <laughs> okay, I'm going to put three of them in. Tractor? So next week, you guys know I do grooming in here. So next week, I'm gonna start doing some uh, maintenance in here, like I said. I'm gonna really clean it up. I'm gonna paint, because let me show you something. Um, this winter we had so much rain and snow that my ceiling leaked a little bit and made, the, made it look ugly. So I gotta paint the ceiling and kind of just paint everywhere. Cause like, see right there, it's starting to yellow. And like these boards, they weren't the ship, ship, shiplac, is that what they're called? They're just um, the boards they use to make fences with, like the cedar. And so it's kind of like, leaking through in places. Let me show you what I mean. I don't know, like the color of the board is just like coming through the paint. So I'm gonna paint it all again. My windows are horrendous. I gotta do those, clean those really good. Oh look, we got some Wayetii flowers on here love these guys they're very sappy i think they attract ants so this is a good one to have outside because um my diptera i did squirt that off because it had um oh gosh i want to say fleas again look there's another pedunk is that there's not a leaf i'm not sure I think it's a leaf actually but uh well maybe it will get a couple little flowers on it 
Not much. I did squirt that off though because it had aphids on it. Um, and my carrie has got a flowers on it. Well, um, buds. Anyway, I just got to go through here. I'm going to like clean everything really good, rearrange things. I'm going to use one of these plant shelves to put like my dog grooming stuff on. I'm going to like rearrange all this crap and put it back in this thing because there's shelves back here. Put it all that stuff in there and so that I can just have a place to put my grooming stuff. And we still do the plant shop, so um, this will be just the shipping area. Our radio broke, so I need to get a new one. <laughs> yeah, I just need to pull everything apart. Like these windows, they are disgusting. Look at that. I got to clean everything really good and just rearrange so it's better. Um, I brought that fireplace out here which I obviously, hopefully anyway, <laughs> you never know. Hopefully I'm not gonna need that in the next little bit, but I wanna find a place to put it so I can plug it in easily and it'll be ready for when winter comes. And then like my dog beds, someone chewed up that one, that one's ugly. I wanna replace that rug because um, it's like one of those stiff ones you know, and the freaking dog hair sticks to it so bad. So I want to get a new rug and um, I want to make some new plant or new plant, some new dog beds to put right there. Ones that I can take the covers off and wash them and just make it look nicer. I was thinking a couch, like a small couch would look so cute right there like for the dogs to sit on, but I don't know. I might be getting a little crazy. I do that, but I could probably get a free couch from Facebook Marketplace because you can literally find tons of stuff on there for free. And then I wouldn't have to make a dog bed. And then they could sit there and look out the window, but then they might bother the plants here. And then I have to rearrange those too, so. I don't know, but maybe I could move some of these plants maybe over here because I'm going to condense all of my my plants onto one of these shelves and then put dog stuff on the other one. And so maybe, yeah, I could just hang the plants right around there and then it wouldn't be so hot for them too. I'd probably like to get rid of these little things here. I don't know. It just doesn't feel good in here. Okay, and now I need to take two cups of this starter. Hmm, I wonder if I should just put them all in. Because if I take the two cups of the starter out, I don't think those are going to be covered. Maybe I'll just pour some of my kombucha in there that I'm drinking to cover them. Okay, so anyway, I'm going to put two cups of the kombucha that I bought my scobies in into here. Another side note is that on the videos I watched, it said that scobies don't like metal. So don't use a metal cup. Don't stir it with a metal spoon. Okay, the thing just, they just fell in there. You know what? Huh. Okay, I guess... We'll just put it all in there. We'll just put all of them in there. If that's a bad idea, then let me know. But it's too late because I already did it. The Matilda flowers opened. Are they pretty? And they have a different smell. 
I'm not sure what to compare it to. I'll ask my husband. What do you think it smells like? No, it doesn't. It does. it smells like no, it doesn't. It smells sweet. Yeah, it's a different smell. That's good. It doesn't smell like pee at all. No, it smells like a flower. <laughs> I hope that cleared it up for you. <laughs> if you guys like organizing things and that, then I'll be doing that next week. And at least starting on it. Oh, let me show you something else. My husband actually ran the plumbing out here. But it's kind of a crappy setup because well, crappy equipment um, because it's just what he had. And so I'm gonna get new stuff for that and make that look better. This is really nice because I used to have to um, run it under, like I had to keep a hose under my sink inside and then run it out this window, the hose to wash the dogs but now it's just all right here i like to get a hose rack so now i'm going to put this in a dark place which honestly could be my kitchen counter just nowhere that it gets direct sun because the direct sun causes the the temperature to fluctuate which isn't what this likes so Okay, so it's all covered and I'm just gonna sit it here on my kitchen counter so I can watch it and see if it does anything. And then um, we're gonna let it sit for, it can be anywhere from seven to 20 days depending on how effervescent or bubbly or carbonated, however you wanna say it, you like it. So I'm thinking I'll probably like mine maybe for 20 days but at seven days, we'll taste it. So next week, we'll taste it and see if it's to where we like it. Hey, guys. Well, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. Remember to plan on.